Good day, good people, this is Phil and in this video I will teach you some stuff about arithmetic operators or operators in general. Let's get started. So, in the last video, let's finish the full screen here, in the last video maybe you remember that we talked about variables, how to declare one and stuff, and now we're talking about arithmetic operators, which sounds very complicated, but actually it's not, it's not at all. We have some operators. I put those here for you. Wait, let's check that out. Okay, so what is an operator? It's very easy. Basically, it's just the basic math science that you already know from school. It's a plus, minus, multiplication, division, and something called modulus. We're going to talk about that right now. Okay, so let's declare a variable. Let's call it number one and assign the value 1 to it, because why not? Let's then take a number 2, assign the value 2 to it. So now, what options do we have here? Well, we can obviously echo out the sum of it, so let's declare a variable called result and assign the sum of number 2 and, excuse me, number 1 to it. Then echo out the result. Here we go. Always remember the semicolon and the result. You guessed it, folks. It's 3. Okay? Obviously, we can do the same with the negation. So we can just subtract number 2 from number 1. And then... In this case, we have 1, because 2 less 1 is 1, okay? We can do the same thing with multiplication. Well, let's take some different numbers here, so it's, it's a little more interesting. And uh, if we do that, of course, we get 20, okay? So 2 times 10 is 20. And also, we can make divisions 2 divised by 10 is 0 0.2. Important question. What type is this number right here? If you paid attention to the last video, you will know. This here is exactly an integer. This here exactly is an integer as well. But the result, because it's not a whole number like 1, 2, 3, is 0 0.2, so it's a float or a double, okay? This is important. So the result variable now is assigned to a value called a double or a float. Important, but if you want to know more about that, go to the last video tutorial where I um, explain everything about this uh, kind of types. And now modulo. So many people don't know this, um, the modulo basically is a divider and it shows you the rest of a division. Okay? For this purpose, let's change the values here a little. Okay, so now that's how you write it. It's just a percent sign. So, two, the number two, modulo number one. That means that in this case, number two, so 20, gets, devised by, uh, gets divided by 9, and the result of this um, is the rest. So, 2 times 9 is 18, so it should be 2. Here we go. You get it? What happened here is 20 divided by 9 equals... Well, it would equal two point something, but the modular operator shows us the rest of that. And this is two, because in this case, two times nine is 18, so there stays a rest of two, okay? That's all there is. So a cool thing, if you might wonder now, why would I ever use that? There's sometimes it's important to find out whether numbers are odd or even, okay? So, if you want to find out if a number is odd or even, you just put modulo 2. And if you put modulo 2, 
and there is no rest, then it means it is divided, divisive, divisive, dividable, <laughs> that you can divide it by two. And, um, well, if there is no rest, then obviously it's an even number. And if there is a rest, it's an odd number. So in this case, number two divided by two should be zero. There you go. So this means that number two, the variable, is even. In, in the other case, number one should be one now. And this means that there is a rest when you divide it by two. And this means that it is odd. So that would be one example how to use the modulo operator, okay? You can also shorten this kind of thing, okay? Let's show you this. There is one thing where you can... Okay, so... This is an operator as well. Number plus, oh sorry, number one plus plus. This means that the variable number gets increased by one. Okay, let's echo it out just to prove you. Number one, semicolon, there you go. Number one is now of the value 10, just because of the plus plus sign. And on the other hand, you guessed it, if I take minus minus, it's the exact opposite. It, now it is eight, okay? Next slide, an operator, well, that's what we used now, is something that takes one or more values, what we did here, and yields another value, okay? So that's just the official definition of what operators are. But I found it more important to show you what it is, what it does, and um, I think it's more easy to understand it like that. There is also one thing called operator precedence. You have to see the manual for that. Because, I show you something. When you take number one plus number two multiplied by number three. First, let's assign number three to a value, or let's assign a value to number three, and let's make it three, because why not? So, what would you, oh, come on, let's uh, not make it too complicated here. So, what would you expect the result to be? Okay, guess before you answer. All right, it's like in school, in this case, there is something called operator precedence because if you start from left to right you would get 9 plus 2 which is 11 times 3 which is 33 but as you might remember from school this is not correct because we have something operator precedence and this tells us that the multiplier gets uh, uh, has to has to be taken into uh, into knowledge here before the plus operator. So it is 2 times 3 which is 6 and 6 plus 9 which is 15. There you go. This is what operator precedence means. And since there are, there are many operators in the PHP language, not just plus, minus uh, and the, the, the other ones, there are many more like and and all and you can see those in the manual, okay? There's a whole bunch of them, and here you see which ones get uh, worked out first, okay? And there's many things that get handled before the usual uh, math signs, okay? This is important to know. We will not uh, talk about this right now, I just so you know that they have different priorities, okay? And there's a whole lot more than just the mathematical ones. Alright people, that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you learned something about operator precedence and uh, arithmetic operators in general. And I see you in the next tutorial.